Lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, Turkey Alashik, and he explains, Eddie Hearn does, how the fight fell apart. And this is what he said. He said, it is, a diff it is difficult because I am very fond of both Canelo and Turkey Alashik, firstly. His Excellency has one thing on his mind, making the biggest fights that can be made in boxing. I think that he probably shares a lot of the frustration with boxing fans over the last few years. And I think, um, I think what he is bringing to the sport is extremely refreshing because he has no interest in poor fights, tick over fights or warm up fights. He just wants to make the biggest fights that can be made. Um, in His Excellency's mind, the fights that he wants to see are Canelo Alvarez against Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez against David Benavidez. His Excellency reached out to me on the night of the first or the fight Canelo Belonga press conference in New York and said to me, I want to make Canelo Crawford go ahead and speak to Saul. Let's make this fight. And I said, OK, I reached out to Saul and I said to that His Excellency wants to make the fight and that I think you should go to see him in Los Angeles because he is there. And Saul just said that he was focused on the fight with Belonga and that he won't talk about another fight until this fight's over. He said it wasn't the way that Canelo wanted it to do the deal. He wanted it to wait until after the Belonga fight, which uh, frustratingly for his excellency kills the Crawford fight for February because he wants to get that fight made now. Okay. And, um, that's that. So let me counter punch. I think this is what should happen or what should have happened. I think what should have happened is I think Canelo Alvarez shouldn't have uh, left a blunt statement open like that. He talks about things and ways on how you do business and how you don't do business. Well, when someone's offering you a fight, it's not like Canelo Alvarez has never been approached by another fight before fighting a fight before. If he thinks that or if he says that, he's a liar, okay? The reason why I know that is, is because he was in um, negotiations with Cotto for a long time. And Cotto had, Cotto had a fight with Canelo Alvarez before he fought Austin Trout. Okay. And then he lost Austin Trout. He got upset by Austin, no doubt Trout. Okay. And then what happened? Um, Canelo Alvarez. And then uh, it pushed that fight back. He ended up fighting Austin Trout. Right. And then after he fought Austin Trout, uh, he, uh, he ended up going into go negotiations with Miguel Cotto and fighting at Islandi Lada right before that. See, Lada was a Bridger fight, a fight that he fought before the fight that he really wanted, which was the Puerto Rico versus Mexico rivalry fight. Okay, that always sells in numbers because it's, you know, the, the, the history between these two cultures speaks for itself. So I think, you know, that's what he's done in the past. So for him to say, no, I'm not talking about anybody until I fight Belonga, you're talking like Belonga, someone like Triple G in the first fight. You know, or like this is David Benavidez. I can understand if this was David Benavidez or some other tough guy or, or a champion like Bivol again and you've lost to or someone like Better BF that no one's beaten. Someone like that. And I, I mean, when I say no one, I mean someone that has proven himself as a champion. Belanga is undefeated as well, but he's not really proven himself. OK, that's why people don't really want to watch the fight. So from Canelo saying, hey, I'm really focused on this fight. But then it, nobody asked for the fight, and you know it's a fight. It's a Bridger fight. It's a tune-up fight, or whatever you want to call it type fight. That's the type of fight it is. So let's stop acting like this is a dangerous fight. Stop acting like Belonga is this dangerous character. Now, I understand you just can't totally overlook someone, but Canelo knows exactly what he's doing, and he knew what he did when he chose to fight Belonga, as opposed to who? 
other fighters, even Terrence Crawford, David Benavidez. There could have been a lot of fights that it, that could have been made. They just weren't made. Okay. And Canelo chose what he chose and he chose and he knows why he chose what he chose. Okay. So him saying that instead of saying, Hey, how about after the fight, I fly to Saudi Arabia and then we can talk then. Because that's not too, I mean, that's September. You got October, November, December, January, February. That's five months. You can make a fight in that time. Hell, we had days of reckoning that they, they signed that in what? October and they did it in December. And that means you can't do it after, you can't do it September 15th. Okay. And have it in February. It's impossible. No. So if to me, if anybody that needed to be, um, that needed to be uh, taught a lesson or, 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 or uh, that done bad business practices is Canelo Alvarez, not Turkey al Because what we've learned about him, he's quick, he's fast, and he's punctual. So if Canelo's saying, I'm not talking to anybody until I have this fight and you have to do it on my terms, you're just showing your ego, but at the same time, you're showing your um, disdain or, or um, dislike or, or uh, what's the word? Um, What's the word am I looking for? Uh, not regretful, but uh, the other word. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, he's showing that he does. He, he's he's not real. He, he's reluctant. Let's put it that way. He's reluctant to work with Turkey Alashik. And the question I have is still why? Because Turkey Alashik is treating everyone everyone well, paying everyone, you know what I mean? And I don't know what should be different about Canelo Alvarez, especially being the face of boxing. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn breaking down the, the, the history between or the fallout between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!